Thank you for choosing ANSYS Access on Microsoft Azure. This video will outline the Express Setup process. Express Setup has minimal IT requirements and configures everything for you, making setup quick and simple. Before we get started, there are a few important items to review to successfully configure the Express Setup for ANSYS Access on Microsoft Azure. The IT administrator who is going to perform onboarding must have a valid ANSYS ID and a Microsoft Entra user account with the Global Administrator or Privileged Role Administrator role. Go to the Azure Marketplace and search for ANSYS Access on Microsoft Azure. Here, you can review the product overview, which includes the contact information for assistance, pricing information, and usage information. Once you have reviewed the product overview, click Subscribe. In the basic screen, you can select the subscription, resource group, and resource group location you want to use for ANSYS access on Microsoft Azure, and set the name of the SaaS as you like. After reviewing the pricing information, click Next. You have the option to set tags to help identify resources, but for now, let's click Next. Note the subscription name, ANSYS ACE Access Test. We will use this later in the setup process. Review the terms of use and the settings one more time, then click Subscribe. Once you've subscribed, click Configure Account Now. Next, you will receive an email from the Marketplace for your Microsoft Azure account. Make a note of the subscription ID included in the email. Enter the subscription ID you noted in the email earlier into the field labeled Your Microsoft Azure Subscription ID, then click Continue. When prompted, sign in with your ANSYS ID. First, enter your company information into the wizard so we can be aware of who is registering and onboarding. Then click Continue. On the page labeled Step 1, click Grant Permission. On the next screen, log in using the Azure Active Directory, or AAD, admin level user credentials. This will grant permissions for the ANSYS access on Microsoft Azure Enterprise app to sync with your AAD. Once you are logged in, click on the subscription page link located under Step 2 Item number one. Click the subscription name we made a note of earlier in the video. For this example, it was ANSYS ACE Access Test. From the side link bar, select Access Control IAM. Click the Add button and then click Add Role Assignment. In the Roles tab, select Privileged Administrator Roles. Then select the Contributor rule and click Next. Click Select Members. Search for and select the search result labeled ANSYS-Your Company Name Application and click Select. Check the details on the Review and Assign tab and then click Review and Assign. Return to the ANSYS Access tab in your web browser. Check that the status of Step 1 and Step 2 both say Validated on the Setup page and click Continue. Next, select a default Azure region where you want to deploy Azure VM instances and click Continue. A VNet and subnet are automatically created in the selected region. Once the setup validation is completed, you can launch ANSYS Access on Microsoft Azure. An initial project space named Onboarding Validation Project Space is created by the setup process. You can rename and use this project space if desired or create new project spaces. This concludes the walkthrough of the ANSYS Access on Microsoft Azure setup process.